What's up, guys? Today, I want to dive really, really, really deep into the dark pit of ABI and Tarkov drama, the pay to win and all the controversial stuff. I'm going to start off by making it clear that I don't have any financial interests, nor am I liable to promote ABI or care about its success in any way. And the same is said for Tarkov. I'm not even really like a Tarkov main anymore. I love the early wipe, but um, a late wipe, you know, isn't really my thing. I bounce around to other games. I don't, I'm not really tied to, to one game in particular anymore. So I, I really don't care either way, you know. Uh, to understand the arena breakout drama, though, you must first understand all the Tarkov drama that happened. So I'll sum it up quick. Uh, many years ago, Battlestate released Tarkov into early access, and it sold everything from Standard Edition all the way up to EOD. I think Standard at the time was like 50 bucks, and then EOD or Edge of Darkness was $150. But it came with better gear and weapons to start off a wipe, a bigger secure container, increased trader standing so you could buy better gear faster, much larger stash. This saves about 50 mil throughout a wipe, by the way, and upgrade costs from Standard Edition for your stash. And the big one being free access to all subsequent DLCs, forever. There was never really a complaint about EOD at the time or really ever being paid to win because while it gave players better gear and it was a very convenient boost throughout a wipe, the game had such a cult following that most players that cared enough had EOD anyways and it never really seemed to like push too far, right? That was until a few months ago when Battlestate announced the Unheard Edition, a step above EOD. Unheard Edition was $250 or 100 more than EOD if you wanted to upgrade. And it came with everything that EOD had, plus way more starting gear. Test server access, arena access, and an even bigger stash than EOD. Bigger PMC pockets, better fence trader standing, a new melee weapon, a radio device where you can call your friends in your raid to back you up like mid-game. And most controversially, access to the brand new PvE mode DLC, or not DLC somehow, apparently, according to them. This Unheard Edition announcement came simultaneously with the announcement of that new PvE co-op mode that you could just purchase separately to get, you know, with EOD or whatever else, or you could just get it with the Unheard Edition if you upgraded or bought it flat out. Players were outraged because as EOD holders that spent $150, we were promised all future DLC access and BSG just essentially scammed everyone and tried to get another $100 from EOD players for something that we had already bought. This led to massive drama, embarrassing PR, and a few leaks back and forth posts from their Reddit and Twitter and all that. And then BSG finally caved and gave a lot of the Unheard Edition features to EOD holders, including PVE, and gave EOD holders a $50 discount on the Unheard Edition if they wanted to upgrade. They didn't necessarily make it right entirely, in my opinion, but, you know, as the player base, we just accepted it as the best that we would get from BSG, and everybody was just kind of sick of being, you know, up in arms, I guess. But during all this drama, there was a Chinese competitor, Arena Breakout Infinite, that dropped a PC playtest for the ported, extremely popular mobile game, Arena Breakout. This game is a bit more casual, but the netcode, performance, quality of life features, etc. were very impressive, and the game seemed like it could blow up. It honestly, this game is just if a Chinese, like, mega corporation with a ton of money played Tarkov and was like, yeah, we can make this better, and then did their interpretation of what that would be. The biggest worry though, obviously from the start was the huge emphasis on microtransactions in the mobile game and how that would play out on PC. I don't think anybody wanted microtransactions or pay to win, especially after the BSG drama. The ABI devs did an interview during this playtest, and this is what they had to say about the pay to win. Just like the mobile version, Arena Breakout Infinite is a free to play game. While there are paid content options in the game, we understand the concerns regarding pay to win models. However, it's important to note that these paid features and systems have undergone extensive player testing and have received positive feedbacks in the Arena Breakout mobile version. The PC version will also include certain paid features, providing convenient membership services, options for personalized appearances, and melee weapons. It's okay. crucial to emphasize that these paid features have no impact on gameplay or the fairness of the game. Now that ABI has dropped in early access, we can see that you can purchase a secure container ranging from $5 to $10 every month, an elite membership with more stash space and a few other things, just like flea market stuff for another $5 a month. And the big one being you can buy Cohen or in-game currency for 10 USD per million in-game currency. A meta kit is about a million, so a meta kit would be like $10. I think that 99.999% of us, pretty much all of us would agree, me included, that purchasing Cohen is not what we want at all. 
and it's definitely detrimental to the game. I would even agree that it's pay to win. Before we say pay to win, we have to define it because it doesn't actually mean pay to win. Like it's not paying to have better aim and actually win, right? We're paying for an advantage. That's what it almost always means in every use, right? So agreeing that pay to win really means pay for advantage, anything you can buy with real money that directly impacts gunfights is pay to win. So being able to buy Cohen, I would agree, is definitely pay to win because having better gear is gonna give you an advantage in a gunfight. But by that definition though, I also think that increased starter gear, trader standing in a bigger secure container that make it way easier to make money, buy better gear from traders faster, and progress to have an advantage over other players in gunfights is also pay for advantage, which is the same thing as pay to win. But with that being said, I think that there's levels to this and being able to directly purchase currency is a terrible look. I would like to see it removed. I think that that's much worse than EOD is. Now, let me reiterate, I'm not defending ABI or Tarkov for that matter, and I don't chill for nor care about the success of either game at this point. I've matured a ton since I started streaming. I was actually a teenager when I started. <laughs> In this point in my life or streaming career, I just wanna have fun and play whatever games are just that. I'm just sick of like the rage, outrage, baiting, drama, internet, brain rot stuff. And I just wanna have a good time. So I'm having a good time playing Arena Breakout right now. And I'm looking forward to Tarkov wiping very soon where I'll totally be playing that until the wipe gets stale. And then I'll bounce to DayZ or ABI or whatever else is a good time. I think my relationship with Tarkov and the devs is much better now and I'm just less affected by things and i have much more fun playing just knowing that i'll play it like a normal person and check out the early and mid wipe and then just play other games until it wipes again i have not obviously and will not buy any cohen at all in abi and i don't think that you should either i did get the five dollar secure container and i might even get the five dollar elite membership for the flea market slots but that's all that i see being worth it or fair especially for a free to play game i think the five dollar container a month is really all you need to play and you know you could play for many 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 months until that adds up to being more than Tarkov has cost us right but um i think they should remove that i don't think that th we should you know be up in arms about like not playing games because we can buy money i, I just don't see the point because i i won't buy any right and i don't think that you should either you can play and make money and be perfectly fine and have a ton of fun without buying it so I, I don't see the problem, but um, well, obviously I do see the problem, but you know what I mean. Um, let me know what you guys think. Are you just up in arms, totally not playing it? Are you uh, gonna have a good time till Tarkov wipes? Are you done playing Tarkov? Let me know and I uh, will see you guys in the next one.